Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I thought I'd make a little video here. Uh, today is Monday the 20th of January. Uh, it's about a little bit after 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, my dad came over yesterday and we messed around with the truck a little bit. Uh, we did get it to fire. Uh, we took off the air box and stuff, and he was like, well, maybe if we shoot some ether into the thing, it'll start. And I said, well, I did that, but I didn't take the box off. I ran it. I tried shooting it down the hose. But we did that, and it did run. It ran for about five minutes, and then it just kind of died out like it was out of gas, you know. So uh, we ended up going and getting five gallons worth of gas and dumping in it and everything and rolled it, rolled it, rolled it. And it was like it was out. I get, you know, it wasn't getting no spark. Uh, we ended up taking the number one coil on the driver's side out and put an old plug in it and rolled it over and it was getting spark and everything. I think my cam shaft possessed excuse me. Position sensor might be bad in it. I think that's what's wrong with it. So I might end up getting one of those. I found where it is on the internet on uh, YouTube and everything. So I might end up going and picking up one of those. I watched a video about a Dodge Durango, it's an older one, but it has the same motor in it, and it did the same thing, they were saying, so maybe that's what's wrong with it, I don't know, they're not very expensive, so I figure maybe I can pick one of those up and throw it in it and see if that's what it is. My light's still on, uh, the engine light. My dad brought his tester up, but the only code that we got was for the, uh, there's a temperature sensor in that air box, and we had it unplugged, and it was getting a high reading on it, so, but, uh, once we plugged that back in, he raised it, and it, it couldn't show us anything else, any other codes, but the uh, engine light was still on, so there's something going on. Uh, I'll probably try that and see if it works. It tried to start, I just tried it a little bit ago, it did the same thing like it was. The battery's dead again now, so I'm going to have to charge it up again. This is a brand new battery and it's dead already. So, I don't know, but we'll see what happens, I'll keep you informed on it, and I'll let you know. Uh, I'll make a video here in a little bit for the parts for the black car. I've been having trouble with it, too. It's like a never-ending thing here. Uh, it's missing really bad. I've been getting water in the two cylinders on the passenger side for some reason. I ended up putting the cover back on the motor. They got a plastic cover that goes over top of the engine. I had that off. I put it back on and it started missing and stuff. So I pulled it off, thought maybe there's water in it, and I checked everything, there wasn't anything. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if my converter's getting plugged up or what. Uh, we had to go get my wife pills on Saturday, and we have to go about 25 minutes away from where we live to get them. We got halfway there and the thing started missing and jerking and everything else. I was like, boy, I hope we make it home. So I got it under the hood and hit the throttle position sensor with something and wiggled stuff around. And it seemed to run all right on the way home. But I don't know what's going on with it either, so hopefully it'll keep
keep running because it's the only vehicle I have running right now. And the other truck or car I had, I got rid of it. It started having transmission problems. So I wasn't going to keep it. Probably end up having to take income tax and get another vehicle or something because I can't. Hopefully I can get the truck going again here. It's just that fence and I gotta get tires for it on the front and stuff, but you know, it's just one thing after another here lately. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's getting to be ridiculous. But I thought I'd give you an update on the truck. Hopefully we'll get it going pretty soon. I'm hoping that's what's wrong with it. I think it is. Is it sounded the same exact way as when the guy rolled it, rolled the Durango over it, sounded identical to what my truck was doing yesterday. So hopefully that's what it is. I can get it up and running again, but I'll make a video of the parts I got for the car and show you what all I got for it here in a little bit. And we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.